In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, the Open Tablet driver on your Gentoo system. The first thing that we are going to do, because we're on Gentoo, is to make some tweaks uh, in our kernel. And that's exactly why I'm running as root in user slash src slash Linux directory. And I'm just going to run this make menu config command and a little GUI like this should pop up. And I'm going to go into uh, the device drivers. I'm going to check the input device support right here, go into the miscellaneous devices and enable user level driver support. This is very, very important. If you won't have this uh, option enabled, and most people, if, especially if they're compiling their own kernel, will have this, uh, this option disabled by default, it's just not going to work. Your program will start, but if you won't have this option enabled, uh, it will throw an error message straight away and your tablet will not work at all. So make sure to enable this uh, specific option. Uh, and we are going to move on to the next option, which is located in a few lines below. I think it was uh, HID support right here. And it was in, sp in the special HID drivers. And it was called UC Logic right here. This is a driver for Huion and Gaumon tablets, I believe. And it's enabled by default in most Linux distros, uh, such as Arch and stuff like that, as a module. And again, as I said, it's a driver. It's a basic driver for Huion and Gammon tablets. But the problem with this driver is that, first of all, it's not really, you know, that great. It doesn't really allow for any extensive configuration whatsoever. And it can get into conflict with the drivers uh, that are provided with the Open Tablet driver uh, project. So we want to really disable it by default. Uh, most Linux distros will have it enabled as a module, and that's exactly the reason why they'll have to blacklist this specific module in their etsy slash modprobe directory if they wanna uh, if they wanna install the Open Tablet driver. So I'm gonna have this disabled, and afterwards, uh, the only thing that we have to do is to recompile our kernel uh, and reboot our computer. Once we're done with that, we can move to the next step, which is about downloading the eSelect repository package. I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. It should be very, very easy. You're just going to follow a few simple steps. And once you're done with that, we're going to move to the last step, which is about uh, installing the package itself. As you can see, we can find a section dedicated to Gentoo users in opentabletdriver.net. Again, I'm going to leave the link in the description down below. So don't worry about anything. And uh, all you have to do is to follow these three steps uh, to get your drivers. And once you're done with that, you are absolutely good to go. Uh, your drivers should be provided by the open tablet driver daemon that you can run uh, through the terminal by just simply tapping OTD. But in my case, the open tablet driver daemon is already running. But at this point, uh, once you type OTD, uh, and you have your uh, tablet plugged into your computer, your tablet should become functional. Uh, the only problem with this is that you don't really want to run the OTD command every single time you want to use your graphical tablet. Uh, what you want to do instead is to set up a service that would start this daemon whenever you boot your computer. I don't really have a service like that. What I'm doing instead is that because I'm using a simple window manager, I'm just going to go into uh, the configuration file of my window manager, which happens to be Hyperland, and uh, I'm just going to execute it once along with other, uh, other programs that I want to run uh, whenever I launch my window manager. And you can see that the OTD command is right here. And as a result, whenever I start my window manager, my drivers should be functional. And that's it. Uh, the last thing that I would like to show you is that the Open Tablet Driver package will provide you with a simple GUI as well that you can run. Uh, it's called Open Tablet Driver, I think. And uh, I'm going to set it here like in full screen so you can see it better. And you can see that uh, this program uh, allows you uh, to configure the settings a bit more extensively, right? You can 
uh, you can configure some bindings, you can set up your uh, sensitivity, you can choose your mode and stuff like that. And that's the last thing that you guys probably need to know. And that'll be it for this video. If you actually liked it, make sure to press the like button, comment. If you dislike it and if you think that this video is really bad for some reason, make sure to dislike it and comment as well. So yeah, uh, this is the Compusiast and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.